What's going on everyone? It's Brayden with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. Chase Gold wants me to make a jewelry cleaning video. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com. I smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. Now, I don't want to overcomplicate a simple, easy task, and that's cleaning your jewelry at home. People could use dish soap. Um, I've done a video where I use laundry detergent. I've seen people use toothpaste. There's so many different options. All do the same job, really. Um, this is a glorified one. I'm sure you guys have seen this at like Walmart, things like that. They basically just added soap and put it in this little container, and it's a little self-cleaning jewelry kit. This is for precious metals, as you guys see. There's some for sterling silver. They make a few different ones, so just buy the one that you're looking to clean. If you're looking to clean like a diamond ring or something, buy this one, precious diamonds gold. And then also, I love, this is my favorite thing ever. It's a gold polishing cloth. Lighting's kind of bad, but you can buy these on Amazon. Just type in like gold polishing cloth and you'll see them. They're pretty cheap and they work great. So I'm gonna clean my chain with this one and some diamond jewelry with this one. Let's see which one works the best. All right guys, so we opened this. Now it has a little basket and on the end it has a brush. So it says just to drop your piece in. I have a diamond and white gold uh, piece and you just let it sit for about 30 seconds. All right, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm gonna take my piece out. It's just covered in soap. Now I'm gonna take this little brush out. The good thing about this brush, it's a soft bristle. You do not wanna use a hard bristle at all because it'll scratch. But on a piece like this, where there's diamonds covering the surface, I'm not gonna worry about the gold too much. Now I'm just gonna kinda of just brush it gently, brush these prongs. And all this is just basically soap. And what's really gonna take effect is when you put this in warm water. I got lukewarm. Don't have it burning hot water here. All that gunk and dirt is really gonna come off when you put this in. So you can let it sink and just kind of take it out, scrub it again. Just get in the, the bristles in those prongs around those diamonds to really get all that dirt out. That's what's gonna cause your diamonds not to sparkle, your gold to be dull, and the gold's gonna clean. You can even kind of rub it just with your hands. I'm not gonna take a brush to my gold because I don't want it to scratch. Um, that's just me, but this bristle is made for this type of stuff, which is good. Don't use a toothbrush that's too hard, um, especially on your gold. So we'll let this sit for about another 30 seconds. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of get it around, get that soap off. Now get a good cloth. This one's like a chamois or <laughs> a lint-free cloth. You just dry it pretty good. If you have a, um, a blow dryer, that works the best. I just don't have one. This works fine, just a cloth, just kind of damp it, work it around, and then let it air dry. And that one's clean. So we'll put that there, and that's it for diamond jewelry. I like this when you have a lot of diamonds, engagement rings, pinky rings, things like that, work perfect for these. All right, let's use the gold cloth. I love the gold cloth when I'm touching pieces and I put my fingerprints and stuff, it's good. And it's not gonna scratch the gold at all. So really what I'm gonna do is work Put a lot of pressure on these links and just rub, 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 rub. Work my way down your links. And this works good for anything. Um, and it, it, like I said, it's not going to scratch your pieces at all. Gold's really delicate. That's why I don't want to put a toothbrush to my piece personally. I'm just going to go up and down. And then I'm going to show you guys the result of what's going to happen here. I'm just keep working. And as you see, look at that. You saw it turn, it was perfectly, like, look at all that black, that's all junk. You could do that to pretty much any of your pieces and it's gonna be the same result. Look at all that dirt and the gold cloth, it's just leaving these links sparkly, shiny. It's not scratching in any way, it's just the perfect way to clean it. You could put this in warm water and it'll help, but on the go, on the fly, if you just wanna clean your chains or pieces real quick, I recommend the polishing cloth, it works great. Guys, this is a quick clean. This is what my cloth that looked brand new like that turned into. You guys heard me bragging how nice my chain looks. You don't have to wear it, but look how white and shiny that thing is. I could sit here for an hour and clean it and just keep getting this off and make it look brand new. So these are definitely recommended when cleaning your gold chain or just plain gold jewelry because it won't hurt the surface. And as you see, it, it does its job right there. So there you guys have it. Those are my two favorite ways of cleaning jewelry. Just depends on the piece itself. If you're just looking to clean basic chains, rings, things like that, pendants that mainly are gold-based, 
buy yourself one of these and make sure it's the gold polishing cloth, not like a diamond polishing. I've, I've mistakenly grabbed, because I had one that was blue, I mistakenly grabbed the wrong cloth, went to touch up my gold, and it scratched the whole piece entirely, and I was shipping it out that day. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I hold my pieces, take pictures before I ship them out, and then before that, I just touch it up with that to get the fingerprints and stuff off oils from my hands off of it it's perfect but i accidentally used the wrong cloth and it scratched i had to repolish it and everything so go on amazon these are pretty cheap and they're definitely worth it if you have time get uh that jewelry cleaner if you have engagement rings and diamond rings like that just get those diamonds sparkling like new again so that's pretty much it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video